go guys what is up it's teach here coming at you again with another video over on arc survival ascended and i wanted to show you the top 21 give or take that might add a few in there as well uh pvp base locations on the island and this is kind of updated because asa made a few small changes to the map just to show you some cool things um but yeah i'm gonna show you all of those i've got a teleporter to take me to pretty much all of the caves the majority of the caves are the best places and then there's a few places around the map that i'll give you some reasons why they're the best places to go now if you don't mind smash that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel i'm getting close to 100k and that's been my dream all along all right so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you all of the Pearl Caves. If you haven't seen the Pearl Caves, these are the exact locations of them. Just so you can see these uh, Cave 1 through 12 right here on this list. There's a total of 12 of them. Um, and they will be probably some of the most powerful caves that you can use inside of Ark because they have a small area that they can go to. And I'll show you the cords just so you can see them. 10.3, 3.9. Um, actually, I'll, I'll just get out a spyglass out so there's always coordinates right there for you. Um, let's go with the Super Spyglass Plus. Why not, right? And uh, let's go ahead and hit three. There we go. Okay. So you can see that the, it doesn't keep it out, 10.3, 3.9. Those are the cords that we actually want to go to, right? Now, this is your first uh, pearl cave. This is one of the smallest pearl caves, but it's also easy to defend because you have the long tube um, right there. Super easy to defend. And it's just one of those bases that um, it, it's just generic island pvp very easy to build in you can see that the reason this is a, a highly useful cave is because of the fact that it's so compact and it's difficult to get into something like this with any of your larger raiders but that is cave number one now we're gonna go to cave number two another pearl cave by the way and uh, this guy just so you can see it right now this is a larger sized entrance into a pearl cave you can kind of see where we're at right now um, the coordinates that i am at right now 3.5 17.1 and yes, you can go up and into this. This is one of the larger ones. The caves have, I mean, all of the pearl caves have an identical shape. This is one of like the circle shapes that you're going to get. There's quite a bit of space inside of this one, as you can see. This one can be run by a larger clan, but because it's got a larger space, it's a bigger entrance, so it can be a little harder to defend. But again, it is a good location to have access to. Lots of uh, easy um, access to resources in the ocean. You kind of have to build in the ocean because if you're going to plan on holding a pearl cave such as this one, you are going to have to get like a donkey in order to actually get your resources and stuff like that. Unless you're late game and have teleporters. This is one of the best locations in the game. All right. So moving on. Cave number three. Another pearl cave. And uh, we are at the bottom of the ocean again. Just so you can see 3.9, 38.2. And uh, yeah, so this cave right here specifically is a really awesome one. It's got a smaller entrance into it, as you can see right there. And uh, again, it's the identical thing that uh, that you saw to the first cave. It's just the same build. That's all it is. It's going to be the same thing over and over again. You're going to block a little bit of a pearl spawn, but you can see that the first cave has a little bit smaller of an entrance than this one does. Um, so the first cave is a little bit better technically, um, but that's kind of a bit. Same exact thing for 38.9. Now that's number three. We're going to go ahead and move on to number four on our list here. All right, so you can see that we're starting to get a little bit of a different area here. 996.8 is the cords of this one. And uh, yeah, same concept, right? So we are right next to the edge. This pearl cave is a little bit different because it's a little easier to raid due to the fact that it's got a bigger entrance zone. Um, so it can be harder to hold, but the benefit is that it's a massive cave. It goes quite a bit uh, far farther than any of the other caves to the back. There is no circle. It's just like this big wall, basically, that you have. Um, in this cave, it's a very popular one for PvP. Um, there are two entrances, basically that one that I came in over there, and then you've got like a little mini entrance over on this side. So you have to be aware of that. So it's a little bit harder to hold, but it is a much larger cave overall. You could easily put a turret tower on the outside over here, and that would certainly save you a lot of trouble. So this is one of those styles. You'll see this exact style here shortly, but uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool cave overall, right? All right, so click this one already no we didn't just making sure all right cave number five again you can see that we are moving around the map in a circle 33.9 98.0 and essentially what we're doing here again small entrance it's bigger but not going to be able to fit a large tame through it and you can see that it's got that circle build to it right so again you've got a pretty decent sized cave you can easily fit quite a few dinos inside of this um, a lot of people do build in this. They'll end up building up on this higher point for their bases and then kind of shoot it down and into this. I um, mean, it's pretty easy to hold this cave due to the fact that you can shoot down on the um, players and teams that are trying to get into the base. 
Um, so that's a huge advantage. So again, you can see that it's the exact same style as one of the other caves though. So it's it's not, all these pearl caves are just the mimics of each other. So that's kind of what it is. All right, cave number six. And again, I'm going as quick as I can through these because I don't really, I mean, there's nothing super special about them other than the fact that they are pearl caves and they're very popular. All right, 54.6. And you can see me right now on the map and I'm gonna go into this one just so you can see larger entrance. But again, check it out. It's the exact same curvy spiral thingy as the last one I just talked about. Um, exact same thing. You can build quite a few things in here and the uh, foundation wise, you've got quite a bit of room. I mean, you're probably talking four foundations on the back and like 10 or 15 foundations on the front. And then you've got probably, I don't know, like two large walls that you could fit up on high um, in this, this kind of build. Uh, super useful. And again, just another pearl cave that shows how valuable they really are. So I say another pearl cave. That's literally what I mean. All right, pearl cave number seven. And this one right here. Oh boy, there we go. I was like, what's taking so long? So you can see that we are again at the bottom of the ocean and then the coordinates 53 point. Wow, I can't actually do anything about this three and then 98.8 or 98.9 and you're going to slide into this one it's quite a bit smaller than the other ones just so you can see um, for the entrance to it and that's why it's one of my favorites because it is probably the best single spot on the entire game because this is a very difficult entrance to get into look how small that is and then boom you get the larger size cave that's not quite the smallest one but it's not quite the biggest one but you do have a very very good uh, defensive output in this cave Probably a one or a two man tribe. You're not going to be able to fit much more into this unless you have cryopods and you don't right now. So this is a fantastic spot to actually build up a larger sized um, base than some of the other ones. I like this one a lot, but probably my favorite to defend just because that small entrance makes it very difficult to raid this one in particular. So that is that one on to cave number eight. All right, so again, another pearl cave. For those of you that are getting sick of pearl caves, you get the point. I'm going to show you those after these 12, so just hang around. Uh, 88.9, 3.2, and then you can see the entrance. Again, it's very similar to some of the other ones. It's got that two-sided entrance to it. So guess what? It's probably going to look identical to the two-sided other ones, and it does. So it's a larger-sized cave. You can see that right there. It uh, goes very far back up into this one, but the entrance is identical to one of the other ones. Very popular. Need a larger tribe to run this one. Um, it will be holdable simply due to the fact that it's hard to get some larger creatures inside of this cave. Um, but you can defend it pretty well with just a big turret wall on either kind of covering both those sides and shooting down and in. Uh, it's a very popular spot. And again, yeah, that's, that's kind of that one. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Did I do, was this eight or I don't remember what number this was. I'm on one of the numbers, right? You guys will forgive me for messing up once or twice. I think this is the exact one I just did. Yeah, it is. All right, so let's go on to cave number nine. All right, so again, you can see the entrance is identical to the other ones that we've gone to, 97.7, 7.6. And uh, yeah, you're just gonna fly into this cave right here and up we go. And you can see that it's the same small, medium-sized cave that you can fit quite a bit of stuff into actually. Um, but probably looking for a smaller or a um, single, maybe two or three players tribe. And that's uh, definitely what you want to use for this specific cave. Let's go ahead and go to 10. And here we go. Right here, you can see the cords 97, 34.5. And you can go kind of see, right? So it's the same build as another one. It's got two entrances to it, so it's probably going to be a little bit larger. And it is. So it goes further up, just like the other ones that we've talked about. And again, this is another popular one for larger tribes due to the fact that you can actually get quite a bit in here, including you. Got, I think you can actually raise uh, Giganotosauruses in here pretty easily once you have cryopods. Even a Lazarus Chowder, you might be able to get a uh, Giganosaurus in here. Maybe. Might be interesting, but you might be able to. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty easy area to hold, again, just like I've talked about in the other ones over there. All right, so 11. So number 11 right here, just so you can see. Um, again, this is the cords, 97.7, 75.1. And you have this entrance and it looks similar to another one of those entrances and it's gonna give us the same build. We're gonna have that circular kind of rotational build on the backside of this one, the mid size of the three caves. Um, and yeah, the, the cords are pretty much the only important thing from that one. So I'm gonna kind of quickly skip over that and put a quay, uh, cave number tell, uh, 12. And then again, you can see exact same thing as some of the other ones, the two sided approach. So we're going to have a larger cave overall on the inside. And yes, it is. 
And just so you can see, here are your cords, 93, 5, 98. And those are your 12 pearl caves. Now, those are great and all. However, the actual best caves in the game are not necessarily the pearl caves. They, some of the best caves are the actual caves that you can go into. Obviously, tech cave can't be used and swamp cave can't be used. But snow cave, lava cave, all of these are fantastic caves, as well as the caverns of lost faith and hope. I'm going to go to you the, uh, these two right here. This one was last hope. And uh, these are fantastic caves. The entrance to this one is at 45, 3. 95.8 i'm gonna go ahead in r dot um volumetric fog so you can actually see a cool command for this one volumetric fog zero there we go and now we can see perfectly in the water so if i put volumetric fog to zero um we can go ahead and go inside of this cave now this entire thing is going to be filled with absolute chaos very dangerous so it's kind of like a natural base defense um, every single thing in here will kill you. It's got an Electra Forest, but on the actual, once you get through this whole thing, it's kind of cool because you can get up to the surface. Not in that point, obviously, but um, let's go to the next zone. I hate the sound of those things, but you can see there's got that blue light. Towards the end of this, it's going to open up in a massive above ground cavern, and this is a fan freaking tastic spot to build. First off, you have the above ground, so how is someone going to get up to you? Um, you can bring things down into this and you can see that it's easy to build inside of this thing and it's a absolutely massive zone right and uh, it goes for a quite a ways um, you can it's pretty expansive you can build a gigantic with multiple turret walls base inside of this it's probably the biggest and best alpha spot uh, in the game when it comes to the two caves the cave of uh, lost faith and lost hope and uh, the entire thing is buildable um i don't think they've changed that unofficial recently uh yeah but it's it's a very nice area and you can just put up a ton of defenses and the amount of room that you have is almost laughable yeah lots of different areas you can build inside of this thing and the cool thing is both this cave and the other one the lost faith i think i didn't go to this one just make sure i'm not crazy um they are both identical to each other it kind of just like inverse and the uh this one just so you can see it 45 or 54 and then 3.8 basically opposite side of the map very similar in the actual build of the cave you kind of just like swim through the whole thing and then towards the end of the cave not here you're going to see the blue lights up in a second here um, but you'll have the ability to get up under the surface you can see me get up here right now and then it is also a very large area in here you can see that all of this you can build on certain ledges and then kind of expand using uh ceiling tricks and it's it's just a great overall cave right the entire thing is buildable um not quite as good as the other one but it's got a very expansive area inside of this so you can build quite a big fortress um especially uh just it, it, i don't know i just love this when you can build cool things like this right and you have these just like structures that you can place down and you've got these large areas that you can go through to me this is just like what arc pvp should be because you're building in a very difficult area to get and you've got a ton of space like look at this right i mean look at look at the size of that so you can build that entire zone now obviously this is a very large cave so you need a large number of people probably to run it successfully but it is a great pvp spot now again some of these are going to be unofficial spots so just be aware of that so yeah both those caves super awesome now the next cave we're going to move on to central cave this guy is a, a great cave if you're playing um make sure i'm not going crazy right this is the one that i'm talking about yeah so central cave is pretty awesome to build in um it's very large and it's going to go in certain corners and rotate and blah 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 it used to be something that you uh couldn't build in um this is unofficial setting so i don't know if it's totally complete unofficial as long as you can prevent the things from spawning this cave has quite a few large combat areas um and there's like little caverns that you can build into now you will be blocking access to a um what's it called artifact and uh, that's going to piss some people off but at the same time, having a large base. Now, you can't bring Rexus and stuff like that into here. So you're going to be basically only be able to use medium size and uh, smaller tames inside of something like this. But it's a good overall. It's definitely my least favorite of all of the caves. But you can see it kind of comes off of the uh, um, Volcano Mountain. And it, it, it's a good cave, but it's definitely not my favorite on the list. Um, some of the better caves, I'll show you in a second. Snow is probably the most popular. This one right here, upper left corner of the map, 14.2, 13.9. I 
And again, very, very good cave. Um, this one is large, but the negative side of it, I guess to some people's positive um, viewpoint for PvP purposes, this is a crouch area. You have to crouch to get past it. Um, it is freezing in here and some very high level tame spawn in this cave. However, you can place things in here. Once you get to like the open chasm areas, there are quite a few areas that will kill you. So just be aware of that. But because everything is so small and people have to crouch, it's a very popular cave to build in. Um, and you can kind of see that it's, yeah, there's not very large zones in this one, unfortunately. Um, but overall, pretty cool cave. It's not as good as Snow Cave. Snow Cave is massive and a lot of people that are watching right now understand, but you get some smaller zones like this one where you can kind of see the water down there. Um, that is an instant kill spot, but you can build over the top of it um, and kind of put some ceilings down and have a small base in something like this. Uh, there's nothing that is large in here. I'll go you to cheat ghost so you can see, but pretty much when you go to a, wow, it's not gonna work. Um, but you can see this entire zone, not very, not very large. We can kind of see uh, the different areas that are taken up by it. Um, but a good overall, not again, not one of my favorites. Snow Cave is exponentially better. Um, but there is some area that you can build inside of this cave for definitely a smaller tribe to maybe store a couple of pieces of loot. Nothing that I would encourage you to do for a larger tribe in any way, shape or form. So lower south cave, right? Now we're starting to get into some of the caves that are a little bit better for overall stuff. Here's your cords just so you can see them. 85, 54. And then going into a cave like this. Oh, man, there we go. Okay, I was like, what's going on here? Uh, a larger cave overall. And we're making our way down. And again, you can see that a cave like this is quite a bit bigger overall on the inside. So you're going to have a lot of uh, space to build. So this is why this cave is more popular than those first few that we were talking about, except for those caves of Lost Hope and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the massive... Uh, places that you can build inside of this one provide quite a few popular building locations. Um, the entire thing is pretty, pretty large. You can't quite fit a Rex through the entire thing, but you can fit like a sloth through pretty much the entire thing, making it pretty hard to raid unless you have cryopod access. And then again, at the bottom, you can see very popular for this reason right here, opens up into a massive area and uh, yeah, pretty huge. Um, you can build a huge tribe inside of this uh, and yeah you can see there's artifacts in this one as well um, as well as drops all that kind of stuff but this this bottom part is probably one of the most sought after pvp places in the entire game so definitely got to be aware of that um yeah super good pvp zone so hopefully that one is something that you think about for sure now upper south cave another cave that we're going to talk about here and go all right I think this is the same cave network. I don't remember for sure, but yeah, here's the cords for it. Um, yeah, 713, 57.2. I'm pretty sure this enters the same cave unless they change that. Um, but again, you can see slight differences and then you've got the massive cave on the inside. Um, lots of buildable zones and we're going to keep going through the entire thing. But this one's kind of just like a big network, a little harder to hold PVP wise because of how big the network is in here of like chasms and stuff like that. Um, but as a whole, it opens up into a large area and you can see that I go to the bottom of this thing. Very big zone, another popular place to build. So keep it in mind that this one can be also very difficult to access. Um, wow, really? Thank you. Um, pretty sure that there's a few places in this one that are only accessible uh, with one pathway and some people have definitely built in a cave like this before. But again, super popular location to build. So you can see that we've got upper, lower, and let's go to the Northeast cave. And here we go. So this one is, if you haven't seen this one yet, this is, uh, I don't know, I'd say top three-ish for when it comes. And this is kind of a totally, not necessarily totally redone, but it's the Carno Island cave, very popular because you have to go through this zone, drop into water in order to get inside of this one. Okay, I guess I'll show you the quartz, 9.3, 90.9. And then you kind of go into this whole thing, drop into this water zone, and then it opens up into this massive chamber, right? Um, and this massive chamber is entirely buildable. And uh, it's the dangerous thing, obviously, is the Onik because they spawn in. So you have to have a turret set to wild in order to actually um, survive in here because they will spawn and go after all of your tames and stuff like that. Or just build a base with walls and then some turrets on the inside or defensive dinos, and you'll probably be just fine. Again, a very popular place to build. You can pretty much block all the spawns in here. 
just by loading this thing up with uh, foundations. But the negative side of this cave is once someone gets past the fences, they're just in and there's not much you can do. But because of the fact that the, the uh, only entrance is through this tiny little waterway right here, it's a super fun cave to use for PvP purposes. So a lot of fun, like it a lot. Now, another popular cave, Lava Cave. This one right here, you can see the cords, 74.1, 92.1. And then you go into the cave. Oh boy, lag, yep. So it's gonna have a little bit of a render issue if you go through this one because it's stayed the same. Uh, it's another popular one due to the fact, again, you've got the uh, larger zones that you can get into. And you can see that I'm able to build just holding a foundation out for you so you can see. And then it opens up a little bit the further you go down and you can see that we have a larger zone to start to be able to build in. And again, boom, right there, right? Uh, but you can kind of just see what I'm talking about. It's it, The big point is you want a small entrance with large area to build and that's why PVP caves like this are so popular. You will need to block some of the tames uh, from spawning, otherwise you will lose yours. This corner right here is a fantastic corner to build in if you're looking for a smaller size base, but to don't totally want to block off the artifact because you've essentially got to jump over things in order to get to this cave. Very hard to raid if you put up a nice turret wall right around there. Um, yeah, but the whole cave, very popular because that lava is basically going to insta-kill anything that falls into it. Very, very nice cave. So, yep. Hopefully this is something that you'll check out at least. If you haven't been here, the artifact is a lot of fun to get to. Very dangerous to get to but a lot of fun to get to. Now for the cave that is pretty much considered the alpha spot of the entire game, right? Very frozen zone, 26.5, 29.1. And then inside of this cave, right? Now, again, very dangerous cave, but it's very popular due to the fact that it's frozen. So wearing flak in here is almost impossible. And it opens up into three large areas after going through a small zone, right? So you can get inside by rotating and staying close to the walls. But because of that, you've got a large zone right here. And then, oh my goodness, really Prolovia? Not necessary, dude. Um, but yeah, there's part of the not fun part. You can see why this cave is so dangerous. Polar bears, Prolovias, everything just wants to just destroy your soul. And uh, yeah, super great. And then uh, you move past the first chasm, you open up into the second one over here. Again, freezing cold prevents people from wearing flak, which is a huge benefit. And then the cave as a whole drops down again. And again, this one is popular because you can kind of build on the bottom side of this cave and just have a massive uh, tiered base instead of just having one big, big chunky zone. Uh, the tiers to this uh, cave itself are pretty popular. I'm survived. I'm, I'm blown away that that thing didn't actually smoke me out of the air. So. I'm gonna go ahead and go into ghost mode, and then I'm gonna show you a few other spots that if you do not like cave building, that are great PVP zones, but you have to have a pretty large tribe in order to actually own these spots. Now, both of these spots that I'm talking about, one is on top of the volcano, and the reason that I'm saying on top of the volcano is due to the fact that, I'm just gonna go and show you real quick where I'm going, but if you go up to the top of this, because there are no cryopods, it is very difficult to raid things that are high up and have flat surfaces and this spot right here you can see it right now big flat surface and in order to get up to it you've either got to take that pathway or you've got to like walk along that death trap you cannot come up either of the sides with a soaker right so that that helps a lot and having turrets and like a big area around this will make it very difficult to raid due to the fact that no cryopods existing means either someone's dropping a tame on you using like a Quetzal or an Argentavis, or they're having to walk up the sides and nobody is gonna do that on a base like this if you have enough defenses, especially with Plant Species X being a thing and very powerful right now. Yeah, Plant Species X broken if you are not using that. This is a very popular spot on top of the volcano. I like it a lot. Now, another very popular spot. This one can be less used, um, mostly due to the fact that it is a very well-known spot and people can boat raid this one if they're really good at what they do. Uh, but Herbivore Island is a fantastic spot to build. I didn't go to Herbivore, I wasn't even paying attention. Um, Herbivore Island is the bottom right corner. I don't like Carno Island as much. Herbivore Island, because it's raised, can be super, super useful for um, preventing getting the uh, boat raids happening on you. You can see it right here, big flat area that you can use, huge overall base proximity to uh, pretty much everything you could need. But because people can bring boats pretty close, you have to build pretty high up in this back middle section right here. 
And then if you were to do that, this is a fantastic spot to build in um, just in general, 91.1, 90.9. But I promise you, there's going to be a thousand and a half people trying to build here. So probably not even worth your time. Now, outside of that, there are a few other small locations on the map. But generically right now, what you want to try and do on a any PvP server is find a base that has a high point with no ways to get up. Now, by doing that, you're basically preventing yourself from getting cannons. You're preventing yourself from having any issues of people just being able to raid you from any side. You want to localize how you can get attacked. So like building on the even like an area like this where people have to come up from that side or drop tames from the sky on you. Very, very good idea. So that's what I would highly recommend using in any of those bases. They're all pretty strong. And uh, yeah, just it, uh, there's a lot for PvP. Um, these are none of my none, none of the rat holes. There are plenty of rat holes on the island, but they're so small that they're almost not even worth building in. And uh, yeah, just in general, I would avoid them. Building in the ocean is another popular thing. As long as you have access to the tech, you can build in the bottom of the ocean and find some rat holes in the ocean that are almost impossible to get into. So hopefully this video helps you out. If you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach. Ow.